everyone. So we are going to solve one more problem of projection of line. So the problem given is draw front view and top view of line areas if the line is at 44 degree inclined with VP, 30 degree with HP, given point R is 20 mm in front of VP, 25 mm above HP, point S is 55 mm in front of VP and 50 mm above HP. So here we have the inclination of the line with HP and VP. So these inclinations given are true inclinations because if you read the sentence carefully, you will find that these inclinations are related with line areas, not the views of line areas. So these are true inclinations and we have the point distance that is distance of point R and point S from both planes are given. Now we begin with the positioning of the point. So first we position point R. So I open the line command. I open this ortho mode and O snap. Then I click somewhere on XY. So point R is 25 mm above HP. So I travel in upward direction. I enter 25 value and press enter. Then immediately I draw the projection locus of point R. Press escape. Then from same point, this point R is 20 mm in front of VP. So I travel in downward direction. I add 20, press enter. And also I add the locus of that R dash. Now similarly, point S is 50 mm above HP and 55 mm in front of VP. I open line command, so it is 50 mm above HP. So I select any point at some distance from the original position. So here it is 50 mm above HP. I draw the locus. Similarly, it is 55 mm in front of VP. So I draw the locus. Now I make all these lines faint. Select the lines. And in bilayer, select color index color 9. Now we give the nomenclature to the points. I open detect. Type detect in a command line. Specify start point. Height is 3.5. Angle is 0. So this is point. This is point R. And this point is R dash. And this is locus of R. And this is locus of R dash. Currently, we don't have the position of S, but we have the locus of S and locus of S dash. So we can add that. So this is locus of S, and this one is locus of S dash. Also, we add the distances. So this R is at 25 mm above HP. And it is 20 mm in front of VP. Similarly, this yes, it is 50 mm above HP. And 55 mm in front of you.
So we added the distances of point. Now we can check what is given. So we have the angle made by line RS. So angle with HP is 30 degree and it is visible in VP. So now we can draw a line at an angle 30 degree. So I open the line command. I close this ortho mode and open this dynamic input. I click on point R and I travel the mouse. So here we don't have the length, so I can add any random length. Like suppose I add length 80, press tab and add angle 30. So wherever this line cuts the locus of S, so that much length line RS will have. So this is the point of intersection of these two lines. So I trim the remaining line. So this is point S. So here I give the name to the line, name to the point. So open DT command. And here this one is a point, yes. This angle is 30 degree. You can check it. Again, I give the angle. If such thing happens, we just off this or snap so this is 30 degree angle and now we check the length open this ortho mode so this is the length that is true length of line rs now similarly it is inclined at 44 degree to vp so again, I open line command. I open this dynamic input. Click on this R dash and move the cursor. Again, we don't have a length, so I can add any random length. Press tab and then add the angle as 44. So this is the intersection point of these two lines. So I cut the remaining line. So I do it again. I open the line command. Then I enter any random length. Angle 44. Press enter. Trim the unwanted line. And give the name to the point. So this is point S yes dash, star dash, S yes dash. Now measure this length. So this is true length and both true lengths are same. You measure this angle also. Just opt this ortho mode. Uh, snap mode so that we get proper angle so angle is 44 degree now we have true lengths in both planes to get apparent length in opposite plane we make the apparent length in opposite plane parallel to x y so for top view length i drop perpendicular from this point s yes, on locus of r dash So this new point and this R dash, this distance is nothing but the apparent length in a top view. So now I rotate that point by using circle command. And I connect this R dash with this intersection point. 
we trim the unwanted circle and we make these this arc and line length so this is the apparent length in the top view which is nothing but top view length we measure the angle made by the top view length so it is 54 we also measure the distance or length in a top view it is 40 again i check it aligned so this point and this point so it is 43 similarly to get the apparent length in a front view i drop perpendicular from this s dash on locus of r and then i draw a circle like this then i trim unwanted circle and then make this arc and this perpendicular length end. now connect this point with this new position of yes so this is the apparent length in a front view we check that length nothing but the front view length so this is 36 and measure the angle so this is 44 so we give the name to the point so this point it is we call it as s1 this point we call it as s1 dash so this is the entire solution of the problem thank you